Česka.
That's mad weird, bro. That is weird. From Little Caesars on the spot. For obvious reasons. With no money to support his family, this led to Damien returning to YouTube with Bianca on a channel called DNB Nation. It went through the typical stages of starting a YouTube channel and only got their first feel of success from a breakup prank video, earning themselves over $18,000 on their first check, which soon went up to over $100,000 on their second. The two had found a formula that worked and weren't going to let it go anytime soon, even to this day making videos in the same vein. But as you all know, with success comes controversy, and these two are no strangers to it. Damien and Bianca's videos had started off with mindless fun. However, over the time, the two started to get a bit more, let's say, adult with their content, with videos like Caught in the Shower with Twin Sisters prank having very uncomfortable and unsettling undertones. I mean, and they did it on their family channel. They, they didn't do it on the print on the DAB Nation, they did it on their family channel, the Prince family channel. We're looking at a video. The dad of Damien is seen showering with his daughter in law. But while these videos don't go past your average run of the mill, clickbait, risque type of content, let's dive into the Prince family's worst scandal of all time. In early 2017, Damien and Bianca will start out their very own university. Not a real one, because that would be a travesty, but a content creation course is. and all that you know like fake storylines you know do y'all think db nation like paved the way for like other youtubers that that did, did like that is doing that what db nation was doing back then and now people other people's doing it now like other couples is doing it doing fake breakups doing all that shit let me know down in the comment section bro to help their audience succeed at being youtubers themselves this course promises participants that by the end of the course they would have the tools they need to be successful youtubers like damien and bianca themselves costing its users up to 395 dollars if they wanted this information you can already see how this was a scam the cypher dnb university had many issues and most of which were never resolved by the couple even by late november 2017 the couple had posted many things alluding to something happening with the project however nothing ever came to fruition Skipping over the near breakup situation, because well, to be quite frank, I believe it was quite fake, let's jump to a controversy that somewhat ties back to the beginning of Damien and Bianca's relationship, back when she was 15 and he was 20. On February 3rd, 2021, the Prince family would upload a video with a very weird premise. In this video, Damien and Bianca would sift through a collage of young girls and be asked to guess their ages. All of this seems pretty harmless until you get into the video itself. Damien, as we all know, has no problem with dating underage girls, and so when you look at a video... It's, it's the facts though. He dated Bianca when he was when she was a he dated Bianca when he was a teenager, underage teenager. Of him complimenting a 15 year old girl on the look of her cleavage, you can see the problem here. Not only that, but the thumbnail for this video is very out there to say the least. Saying Zam, she's twelve and she and, and and the thumbnail saying she's 12, Zam, like, and he's spicy, he's Zam, and she's spicy, you know, like, Damien in the corner saying, to what the audience would assume is a 12 year old girl from the thumbnail thankfully the girl in the thumbnail wasn't actually 12, but a lot of the victims, that's what they called them throughout the video, were underage. Of all the creators I've had the displeasure of covering, none have been as deranged and perverted as the Prince family. From Damien being a groomer to the weird and distasteful pranks have cemented themselves in my mind as the worst family on YouTube. As time has gone on, many would say that the content on YouTube has degraded, for lack of a better term, with many stating that it feels less authentic and it feels too high production. And to all that, I like to agree with you. However, to say that this is a bad thing is kind of ignoring the reasons why YouTube started to foster better developed content. And in today's video, we covered one of them, that being the creation of channels like the Friends Family. With content so out there that it has themes of protest, it's no wonder YouTube has started to have a stricter grasp on this website's content. Have I agreed with what most of YouTube has done with the site in the past two years? Well, you all know the answer, and that's a swift no. 
And what they've done also hasn't fully worked to cut down on the type of content the Prince family is known for, but it has worked partially. With all that being said, here's some more videos of mine I think you'll really enjoy. I've been Just Quilted, and until next week, later. Okay, that's the video. Um, yeah, let me go and shot that, bro. About the Prince family, aka Demon Nation, all that shit, bro. Um, yeah, bro. They did some rock. The Prince family, I'm not gonna lie. They do rocky shit on YouTube. Just like other, other, like, YouTube, like, couples do too. Like, they do rocky shit. I mean, they do the basic just like everybody else. The Prince family, DB Nation, they do basic shit just like every other YouTubers that y'all see doing now. Pranks, challenges, vlogs, um, reactions, all of that shit, bro. You know. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Are y'all a fan of Prince Family? Let me know. Comment down below if y'all a fan of Prince Family. But, and if, or if y'all not a fan of Prince, of the Prince Family, aka DB Nation. Cause also, cause also comment down below and tell me why you're not a fan of them. Like, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know the vibes, which is like you are.